Did you know the most powerful influence doesn't come from loud words or flashy actions, but from quiet, unshakable strength? If you want to master life's challenges, build meaningful connections, and find inner peace, you need to embrace the transformative power of stillness and self-awareness. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to mistake noise for progress and volume for confidence, but what if the secret to real strength lies in silence, observation, and intentional restraint? This is not just a theory. It's a timeless practice rooted in the wisdom of Stoicism, a philosophy that has guided some of the greatest minds in history. In this journey, we'll uncover how the art of observation, quiet confidence and inner reflection can elevate your life. We'll explore practical strategies to maintain peace in a chaotic world and, ultimately, how embracing quiet strength can transform not only how you live, but who you are. Let's dive in and discover the hidden power of silence and strength, shaping a life that speaks louder than words ever could. Number 1. The Magnetic Power of Quiet Strength Imagine the serene beauty of a calm lake on a windless day. The surface is still, yet beneath it lies a world teeming with life and quiet power. Such is the allure of quiet strength, its ability to captivate without effort, to draw others in through calmness rather than force. Think of moments in your life when you've met someone who didn't need to speak loudly or dominate a room to command attention. Their presence alone was enough. This is the magnetic power of quiet strength, a force that goes unnoticed but never unfelt. At its core, quiet strength is about balance. It's not weakness masquerading as silence or passivity dressed as humility. Rather, it's the unwavering calm that anchors you in the stormiest seas. People with quiet strength don't feel the need to prove themselves to anyone. They've moved beyond the realm of validation, finding peace within themselves. In a world obsessed with being louder, faster and more aggressive, quiet strength stands apart, offering an alternative path to success, one that resonates deeply with people who value authenticity. Perhaps you remember an elder in your family, someone whose wisdom and steady demeanor were a source of comfort during trying times. They may not have had the flashiest career or the loudest voice, but their influence was undeniable. Reflecting on those moments brings a sense of nostalgia, doesn't it? Number 2. Stepping Back The Stoic Key to Clarity Picture a time when you felt overwhelmed, a thousand thoughts racing through your mind, pulling you in different directions. Maybe it was a hectic workday, a heated argument, or a tough decision that left you feeling stuck. Now imagine stepping back from the chaos, taking a deep breath, and allowing everything to settle like snowflakes in a snow globe. That moment of clarity, when everything sharpens and the right path becomes visible, is the gift of stepping back. Stoicism, a philosophy revered for its practicality, emphasizes this very practice. By stepping back, you create space between yourself and the emotional turmoil of the moment. It's not about avoiding problems, but about approaching them with a clear mind. The Stoics believed that clarity comes not from controlling the world, but from mastering your perception of it. When you step back, you regain control of your narrative, turning knee-jerk reactions into thoughtful responses. Think back to a time in your life when you didn't step back, when you acted impulsively and regretted it later. Maybe it was an argument with a loved one, a hasty career move, or a poorly thought-out financial decision. Reflecting on those moments can be bittersweet, can't it? But within that nostalgia lies a powerful lesson, the importance of slowing down and looking at the bigger picture. In today's fast-paced world, Taking a step back feels counterintuitive. But what if it's the key to making better decisions, strengthening relationships, and finding inner peace? 
What if clarity isn't something you chase, but something you uncover by simply pausing? Number three, the wisdom in silence, a shield against impulse. Do you remember the last time you truly sat in silence? Not the kind forced upon you by circumstance, but the kind you chose for yourself, a deliberate moment of stillness. Perhaps it was during a walk in nature, a quiet evening at home, or even just sitting in your car before heading inside. In those moments, silence becomes more than an absence of sound. It transforms into a sanctuary, a place where wisdom emerges and impulsive urges fade away. Silence is often underestimated in its power. It's easy to believe that filling the air with words or taking immediate action is the best way forward. But the Stoics teach us otherwise. They understood that silence is a shield, a buffer that allows you to process your emotions, weigh your options, and choose your response carefully. In silence, there's no pressure to perform, no need to impress. It's a space where you can confront your true self without distractions. Think back to a moment when you wished you'd embraced silence instead of speaking too quickly. Maybe it was during a disagreement with someone close to you, or perhaps it was a rushed decision you later regretted. Those memories have a way of humbling us, don't they? They remind us of the power of restraint and the importance of taking a moment to reflect before acting. In a culture that glorifies constant noise and immediate gratification, silence feels almost revolutionary. What would happen if you embraced it more often could it become your greatest ally in navigating life's challenges and making meaningful connections? It's worth pondering, isn't it? The wisdom in silence might just be the key to unlocking a more thoughtful, balanced life. Number four, quiet confidence, influence without words. Think of someone you deeply admire, not because they talk the loudest or command attention, but because their presence speaks volumes. Perhaps it's a teacher who inspired you without grand speeches, or a leader at work who made you feel seen and valued through their calm yet assured demeanor. Quiet confidence is a force that influences without needing to impose, an unspoken energy that draws others in. Quiet confidence is not about seeking validation, it's about embodying self-assurance in its truest form. It's the kind of confidence that doesn't need to boast or dominate, but speaks through action, integrity, and presence. In today's world, where loud voices often overshadow wisdom, quiet confidence stands out like a beacon. It's not arrogance or false bravado. It's an inner knowing that doesn't waver, even when faced with adversity. Now, let's explore what builds this kind of confidence. It starts with self-awareness. When you understand your strengths, weaknesses and values, you create a solid foundation for your confidence. You no longer feel the need to prove yourself to others because you're secure in who you are. Quiet confidence also stems from preparation. Imagine walking into a room, knowing you've done the work, honed your skills and are ready to handle any challenge. That level of readiness radiates assurance without a single word spoken. Think back to moments in your own life when you felt truly confident, not because of external validation, but because you knew deep down you were prepared. Maybe it was a presentation you nailed after weeks of practice or a decision you made after carefully weighing your options. Those memories, though small, hold immense power. They remind you that confidence doesn't come from being the loudest voice in the room. It comes from being the most grounded. Yet, quiet confidence often feels countercultural. In an age of self-promotion, we're taught to market ourselves constantly, to make our accomplishments known. But consider this, how many of the most impactful people in your life were those who let their work, actions and consistency speak for them? Think about the calm coach who led a team to victory, or the humble parent who taught you resilience through their quiet example. 
The beauty of quiet confidence is its ability to create trust and influence naturally. It's not about forcing your way into conversations or commanding attention. It's about creating a space where others feel valued and respected. People are drawn to those who exude calm assurance because it provides a sense of safety and stability. Imagine being the person in your social or professional circle known for their steady presence, the one people turn to when they need perspective or clarity. Number five, the art of observation, seeing beyond the surface. Imagine walking into a room full of people. Some are laughing, others are deep in conversation, and a few stand quietly on the edges of the crowd. At first glance, you might think you understand what's happening, who's confident, who's shy, and who's holding the room's attention. But true observation goes beyond the surface. It's about tuning into the subtleties, the unspoken words, and the underlying energy of the moment. This art of observation isn't just a skill, it's a gateway to deeper understanding and connection. Observation begins with presence. In our fast-paced, distraction-filled world, being fully present is rare. How often do we truly notice what's happening around us? The texture of someone's voice when they speak, the way their eyes light up at certain topics, or the quiet sigh they let out when they think no one's watching. These small details reveal worlds about a person's state of mind, emotions, and intentions. To be an observer is to slow down and engage all your senses. Observation isn't about judgment, it's about curiosity. When we approach situations with a curious mind, we see things as they are, not as we assume them to be. Think back to a time when you misjudged someone based on first impressions. Maybe you thought a colleague was aloof, only to later discover they were shy. Or you assumed someone's enthusiasm was arrogance, but it turned out to be genuine passion. Those moments remind us that what we see on the surface is just the beginning. But why is the art of observation so powerful? Because it allows us to connect on a deeper level. When you truly see someone, when you notice their struggles, joys, and unspoken needs, you create space for understanding and empathy. This ability to observe also enhances your decision-making. By paying attention to patterns and behaviors, you can anticipate challenges, seize opportunities, and respond to situations with clarity and wisdom. Observation is not just about others, it's also about self-awareness. How often do we observe our own thoughts, feelings and reactions? By tuning into ourselves, we uncover hidden beliefs and habits that shape our actions. This self-observation is the cornerstone of personal growth. It's what allows us to break free from reactive patterns and choose responses that align with our values. Let's take a moment to reflect on a time when observation served you well. Maybe it was noticing a friend's subtle change in mood and offering support before they asked. Or perhaps it was recognizing an opportunity others overlooked because they weren't paying attention. Those moments of insight remind us that observation isn't just about looking, it's about seeing. Number six, inner growth through restraint and reflection. Imagine a moment when you held your tongue during a heated argument, choosing calm over chaos, or a time when you resisted an impulsive decision that could have led to regret. These moments of restraint often pass unnoticed, but carry profound significance. Restraint, paired with reflection, is the foundation of inner growth. It is in the quiet, deliberate pause that we find the power to reshape ourselves and our lives. Restraint is not about suppression, but about conscious control. In a world that encourages instant gratification, from swiping to the next video to acting on every emotion, the ability to pause is revolutionary. By holding back, we create space, space to think, to understand, and to act in alignment with our values. Consider the Stoics, who emphasized the importance of temperance 
a virtue rooted in moderation and self-control. To them, restraint was not a limitation, but a pathway to freedom. Reflect on your own life. How often do you take a moment to reflect before reacting? For many of us, life moves so quickly that we operate on autopilot, driven by habits and emotions. Reflection breaks this cycle. It allows us to step back and examine our choices, behaviors, and motivations. This process of self-examination is where true growth begins. Restraint and reflection go hand in hand. Without reflection, restraint can feel like a sacrifice, an act of deprivation. But when we pair restraint with reflection, we understand its purpose. For example, Consider the practice of delaying gratification. When you resist the urge to indulge in a fleeting pleasure, like buying something you don't need or overeating, and then reflect on the long-term benefits, financial stability, health or self-discipline, you begin to see the bigger picture. This understanding transforms restraint into empowerment. The power of reflection lies in its ability to turn experience into wisdom. Life is a constant stream of events, but without reflection, those events blur together, leaving us unchanged. When we take the time to reflect, we extract meaning and lessons from our experiences. Think about a challenge you faced in the past. What did it teach you? How did it shape you? These insights are the building blocks of inner growth. Restraint also protects us from the chaos of unchecked emotions. Anger, jealousy and fear can cloud our judgment and lead to actions we later regret. By practicing restraint, we prevent these emotions from controlling us. And when we reflect on the source of these feelings, we often discover deeper truths about ourselves, insecurities, desires or unresolved wounds. This awareness is the first step toward healing and growth. Number seven, practical stoic strategies for everyday peace. Picture waking up to a calm morning where your mind is clear, your heart is steady, and the day ahead feels manageable no matter what it brings. This sense of peace might seem elusive, especially in today's chaotic world, but it is attainable. The stoics, with their timeless wisdom, offer practical strategies for cultivating inner peace in the midst of life's turbulence. At the core of Stoic philosophy is the distinction between what we can control and what we cannot. Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This principle is the foundation of everyday peace. When we focus on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and attitudes, we free ourselves from the anxiety and frustration that come from trying to control the uncontrollable. One of the most practical Stoic strategies is the practice of mindfulness. Stoic mindfulness is not about escaping reality, but engaging with it fully and intentionally. It's about being present in the moment and observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This practice helps you respond to situations with clarity and composure rather than impulsivity. Another powerful stoic tool is negative visualization. While it might sound pessimistic, this practice is profoundly liberating. By imagining the worst case scenario, you prepare yourself mentally and emotionally for life's uncertainties. For example, if you're worried about a job interview, Visualizing a less than perfect outcome can reduce your fear of failure. It shifts your focus from dread to acceptance and helps you approach challenges with courage and equanimity. Gratitude is another cornerstone of Stoic practice. The Stoics believed that appreciating what we have is essential for peace and contentment. Take a moment each day to reflect on the blessings in your life, your health, relationships, or even the simple beauty of nature. This practice shifts your mindset from scarcity to abundance and fosters a sense of inner peace. The Stoics also emphasized the importance of setting boundaries. In a world that often demands more than we can give, learning to say no is an act of self-preservation. 
By prioritizing your well-being, you create space for what truly matters, your health, your passions, and your relationships. Another strategy for peace is embracing impermanence. The Stoics taught that everything in life is transient, from our possessions to our problems. By accepting this reality, we free ourselves from attachment and fear. This perspective allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. Reflection is a daily practice in Stoicism. At the end of each day, take a moment to review your actions and thoughts. What did you do well? What could you improve? This practice helps you learn from your experiences and align your actions with your values. It's not about self-criticism, but self-awareness and growth. Finally, the Stoics remind us to act with purpose. Each day, ask yourself, what is my highest priority? How can I contribute meaningfully to the world? By living with intention, you create a sense of fulfillment and peace that transcends external circumstances. Number eight, embracing quiet strength to transform your life. Strength is often associated with loudness, bold declarations, visible achievements, and outward displays of power. But true strength lies in quiet resilience, the ability to stay grounded and steadfast, no matter what life throws your way. Embracing this quiet strength is not only transformative, but liberating. Quiet strength begins with self-awareness. It's about knowing your values, your purpose, and your limits. When you have a clear sense of who you are, external opinions and challenges lose their power over you. This inner clarity allows you to navigate life with confidence and grace. Quiet strength is also about resilience. Life is unpredictable and challenges are inevitable. But when you cultivate inner strength, you become unshakable. You face setbacks not with despair, but with determination. This resilience comes from understanding that you cannot control everything, but you can control your response. One of the hallmarks of quiet strength is humility. It's the recognition that you don't have all the answers and that there is always more to learn. This humility opens the door to growth and connection. It allows you to approach others with empathy and understanding, creating deeper and more meaningful relationships. Quiet strength also involves patience. In a world that values instant results, patience is a rare and powerful virtue. It's the ability to wait, to trust the process, and to stay committed to your goals, even when progress is slow. This patience, coupled with perseverance, is the foundation of success. Embracing quiet strength means letting go of the need for validation. It's about finding fulfillment within yourself rather than seeking it from others. When you no longer depend on external approval, you become free to live authentically and unapologetically. Quiet strength transforms not only your life, but also the lives of those around you. It inspires others to find their own strength and to approach life with courage and resilience. It creates a ripple effect, spreading positivity and empowerment. As you embrace quiet strength, you'll discover a sense of peace and fulfillment that transcends circumstances. You'll find that true power doesn't come from controlling others, but from mastering yourself. So, ask yourself, how can you cultivate this quiet strength in your own life? What steps can you take to live with resilience, humility, and authenticity? The answers to these questions hold the key to your transformation. Quiet strength is not about becoming someone else, it's about becoming the best version of yourself. And in doing so, you'll not only transform your life, but also inspire those around you. As we wrap up this exploration of quiet strength and its transformative power, Remember that true change begins within. It's not about how loud you speak or how much you do, but how intentional and grounded you are in your actions. Quiet strength isn't just a philosophy. It's a lifestyle that lets you lead with purpose, confidence, and peace. If you've made it this far, 
drop a hundred in the comments to show that you're part of the 0.01% who commit to finishing what they start. And if you're ready to take control of your journey and embrace a better, stronger version of yourself, make sure to join us by subscribing to the channel. Your transformation starts here.